not gonna lie today's haul is a big one oh the three of these were three for 11.99 hey guys Sarah here welcome back to the zebra tribe family Welcome back to another grocery haul and if you guys remember we are trying to do the once a month grocery haul as inspired by our friend Sarah yeah she it's something that we've done in the past and we're definitely trying to get a grip of it again last month if you see the haul that we did it actually lasted quite a long time I think it was like three weeks so I'm really trying to extend it as much as possible. Honestly, we couldn't hold it off any longer. We really had to go back to the store. The fridge was basically empty. So I'm gonna stop talking and show you all the things that we picked up and we'll touch base right after. So I'm gonna start randomly with all the healthy stuff. If you guys can see, there's a lot of goodies in this haul, but we bought the celery last time. We really liked it. The kids enjoyed it with peanut butter as well as I did. Um, so that's a really good buy. We picked it up again. Avocados. Yeah, good stuff. The Brussels sprouts were actually really tasty. I made it for meal prepping as well as for dinner a couple of times. These carrots, guys, are so good. Um, I think last time, last grocery haul was the first time that I found them. And they're really, really nice when you just, what do you call it? When you steam them, the baby really likes them. And I picked up two, two packages this time because I do have a roast that I need to put some. I'm going to be using a lot of carrots in, so I needed to have extras for meal prepping. Guys, tell me th these aren't the, the cutest little packages of peas. I've never bought these before, but they do look really, really cute. And they're called fresh shelled English peas. So let's see if they're as good as they look, because they look really cute. Yeah. And apparently, it's really quick to steam as well. I think it's at two to four minutes on there. Apples, as per you, we got apples as per usual. A large bag of potatoes because that will go really well with our roast this week this week Costco actually was advertising pierogies you know when they have the little booths and people actually rush like hand it out well they had them on out there and we picked up three uh, two of the same I guess because that's probably the most popular for our family everyone loves cheese and potatoes then I got some fresh spinach. I wanna be able to throw this in with like my peas and various things for meal prepping as well as for suppers. So this is really good. It said it's triple washed. I still wash it. <laughs> Excited about that. And this was like $3.99. Oh, the three of these were three for $11.99, $5.99, $11.99, $4.99, $5.99, $5.99, $5.99. $5.99 a piece and nine nine or ten ninety nine or ten ninety nine. Okay, so moving into some of our snacks and other things. I don't know. We're just gonna go. We're gonna review them as we go along. So we got some croissants. That's gonna be coming really handy for breakfast with some butter or jam. We're back with the brioche buns. This is three weeks in a row, guys, but. I'm not going to deny the fact that they're pretty tasty and the kids really love them. I also bought a whole chicken, which this will be really, really good for. These are the cheesy bits and I think the older kids really like this. I'm not sure if the baby is too is too partial to it, but this is definitely a hit. Then we got Rice crispy Squares. Everyone loves these in my family, so that's a really good deal. How much were these, Aaron? Uh, I think it's like $10.99. So the Ritz is $10.99 and the Rice Krispie Squares are $9.99? I want to say $11.99. Or $11.99, yeah. Okay, so yeah, don't judge me. I wanted to give my kids a little bit of a treat. They had these big containers of sour keys for $6.99, I believe, or $6.97. And of course, they already love them. So we just need to hurry up with this haul so they can have one. Um, then we picked up these little bites, and I think Zoe actually likes them. The muffins are by Sarah Lee, myself. 
<laughs> and they are nice and moist guys these ones were 9.99 and these are the individual packet ones so they're really good for for like school snacks and obviously now that i have one child in school it's good for them to carry something because they don't eat <laughs> For cereal this week, we have Fruit Loops. And we didn't go overboard with cereals because we actually have, we have the croissants and stuff that we can have for breakfast, but we also still have a ton of oatmeal. So I didn't buy any oatmeal in this haul, which is amazing, because that's usually a staple. We're back with these si gros, si bon. Is that all one word? I don't know. No, it's Bigger and better cookies. These are the best cookies ever, like I said amazing so we next thing we picked up is basil it's margarine <laughs> i think i always say it's butter but it's margarine and this is the one this is the brand that we use we like to buy it at costco because you do get the double pack because this is something that we always seem to run out of in our house so of course there's always a new item every week this item is the new one for me it's this organic tomato paste and i found it at random by the avocados but i picked it up because i'm always on the hunt for tomato paste but this one had little to no sodium it had 15 milligrams of sodium which i thought was amazing so i'm excited to make sauces and various things with that then I also picked up some 2% chocolate milk because baby girl loves this and it's just easier doing this as opposed to using the chocolate mix. We got our eggs as per usual. Not gonna, we have a little confession. We, we did pick up eggs yesterday because it was um, the weekend and we had waffles and they do take a lot of eggs because we're making a lot for our family. So yeah, we did that. So we just picked up our marble cheese this time. We didn't pick up that cheese that you usually see us with, um, the ones that come sliced. I did really like it, but I found that I didn't use it up as much last time. I did kind of try to use the last of it today, making grilled cheese. Then we picked up some ice cream, and this brand is like amazing stuff. It's so tasty, so, so good. So. This is where, I guess we're approaching the last of the produce. We did pick up some bananas, nothing exciting, but fun fact, the baby wanted um, banana today and we didn't have any at all. So very happy to have this in the house again. Of course, we got our signature yogurts. These are the ones that everyone absolutely knows and loves and they have little no to no sodium. So if you are on a low sodium diet, check out this brand i'm not sure if you'll have it wherever you are but it is a really really good brand another another produce item that i bought is this pineapple if you watched last week's groceries you would have seen that i did purchase a pineapple last week and everyone loved it we actually ate it in one go so of course i grabbed another one it's loaded with vitamin c and it's the perfect time for that so if you're not eating pineapples perhaps you could get your hands on one we're at the end of the haul here and we bought bagels as usual, two of those. Not sure what, um, I think cheese and sesame. These are usually two for six. Pineapple was $4.99, I think. How much was the ice cream, Eric? Uh, I think it's like $7.99. Ice cream is $7.99. Yogurt is $9.99. Cheese is $11.99. The two butters is $10.99 and bananas, I don't know, because it goes by weight. So I'm back at it again with the Skinny Pop. This was actually a good buy. It was a nice snack to have at hand. And because we've been having a couple movie nights, I decided to grab two packages because I'm not the only one who likes them. Everyone loves them. Got some cheese puffs. I can't determine if Zoe likes these or not. Isn't this what toddlers are supposed to like? She, I don't know, she's a very picky toddler these days. Let's test her. Zoe, do you like this? These Cheetos? Do you like them? <laughs> <laughs> Just like I said. Um, next thing, we did buy some muffins. These are the Costco brand and it's six, six per package. I guess they're both banana chocolate chip. How much are these? I think it's a uh, two for $6.99. Yeah, and it's two for $6.99. These are some large muffins, so that is a really, really good deal. Um, last but not least, we got some bread. Actually, I think I just found another item. So we got some bread. Um, this is, I don't know if this is the same one that we typically buy. I find that we keep going in between breads, 
This is a Dempster's brand. Um, yeah, three does last us a while because we don't eat it as much. And we do have other things like, you know, muffins and bagels and other breads and croissants over there. And this week we also picked up a whole chicken. I do plan on doing like little um, chicken either sandwiches or wraps or you know with this so that's what this is this is for primarily and that's pretty much it for this haul guys we did pick up a few extra things that are not grocery related but as per usual if you guys want to see that definitely check it out on my mommy channel because it makes sense I do like to post some Costco hauls over there as well um, if you guys are interested definitely go over there it is called Sarah Latouche link will be in the description box below and I hope you guys enjoy today's grocery haul I'm not gonna lie today's haul is a big one <laughs> today's haul was roughly $500 but it is because we had a lot of non-grocery related items in it i'll give you guys a glimpse but if you guys want to see the full haul definitely head over to my channel to check it out so these are the non-grocery related stuff and there are other things down in here but that's not, that's as much as i can show you guys so <laughs> hope you guys enjoy today's video if you do don't forget to give it a big thumbs up don't forget to share these videos as well as subscribe if you're new i do I am on a mission to do my once a week, oh, oh goodness, I am on my mission to do um, my once a month grocery haul. It's ideal for a big family just because you don't want to have to be running out and about to shop all the time, but that doesn't mean that there won't be times when you need to go and pick up the odd thing here and there. It just won't be necessary to run out and grocery shop every day, kind of like what I felt like we were doing before. So. Um, overall I feel like we're getting there because we're three weeks in with last week's groceries and I thought we did amazing so I'm hoping to stretch it and maybe as I go along and I organize myself a little bit more I'll have I'll have my meals at hand I'll be more aware of what I'm making as well as just trying my best to stretch um, whatever we can to the four week mark um, yeah that would be ideal so until next guy until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching and much love. Much love, guys. Bye.